Well, here are the two fighters. The referee in the middle taking control of this one is Andreas Hempel from Germany. Nice shot. Great crowd here in Paris. Cho, shorter and uh, more compact. And uh, Brayson, who had uh, a nice semi-final with Teddy Rinne. Rinne um, beating, beating him well, actually. Brayson was well beaten. Cho lost in the quarter-final to his teammate, uh, Kim Sung-min. Kim's in the final against Rinnell. Something interesting about um, Cho and his judo, he's uh, a gutsy little performer. He always... Um, Quite aggressive. <laughs> we need to um, step up the aggressive um, streak in him a little bit uh, quicker now. Doesn't want to give anything up unnecessarily. Keep the advantage. Keep pressing forward if you can. Three twenty. Not a great deal um, happening so far. Cho just a little bit watchful. Needs to open up. Just that little bit more. Giving um, Brayson a lot of respect. Look at the, um, the gap or the, uh, the size of um, space that was left by uh, Cho in that effort. A bit too far away and no real chance of catching um, Brayson with that, but Joe's persistence, that slightly more aggressive um, posture, has um, drawn a penalty for Brayson. And now Brayson goes over, Wazari as well, good score from Cho. Kind of walked onto that, did the Cuban, and now Cho leads by Wazari. That should really open the contest up. Brayson's got the leg trap, and the uh, referee will call. Mate, when they stand up, we should see a different Brayson. Didn't walk onto it actually, it was just uh, nice and quick from the Korean. Take it back, nice effort from uh, Cho Guam. There he goes again, blocked this time by uh, Brayson. Needs to um, get rid of that right arm that's come around the back. That's um, big and strong from the Cuban and that will helping to um, execute his techniques. Brayson still not um, attacking enough for the, for the liking of the referee. And uh, picks up another penalty. Is Wazari down anyway? He's been penalized twice. Cho just goes to ground there. Not sure if he won't pick up a penalty for just dropping. Yeah, he does.
two minutes to go. Just needs to be careful of that um, big left arm that Brayson has thrown over the back. Brings a lot of control for the Cuban. And he looks a little bit um, defensive now, does Cho. Needs to find a way to put in an attack just to break things up and avoid getting penalised. Could be that both will get it. Yeah, passivity to uh, both fighters, but puts Brayson right on the edge now. Minute 20 odd. Cho in with the Sonagi, and that'll do. I like that better for uh, Wazari, but it's not going to make any difference. Excuse me, if it was Wazari, Wazari or Azeti upon, it would finish the contest off. Cho Guam. He's just got that little bit about him, you know, that, that makes him interesting. He's a shorter fighter. He's not the, um, the heaviest in the category. Not the lightest either. But um, there's just something about him that's nice to watch. And he really is delighted with that win. Brayson having a good stare down at him, though. <laughs> Giving him the dead eye. I'll catch you next time. Eventually, uh, Brayson, um, and by the time he gets to the middle, he's okay. He just gives him a hug, a pat after the bow, of course. And, uh, Cho Guam, it is, who um, comes away from Paris with a bronze medal. Not a bad little fight, and here are some highlights. Right, we've got um, two more bronze medal matches coming up, and the uh, match that we're going to bring to you is in the uh, plus 78 key.